All right, guys, you just saw the human bloody beginner guide. Now we are faced with a human mirror the very next game after. What a surprise and coincidence. And we're also on Tide Hunters. Nice to play our first real game after the bloody beginner guide on the very same map. I'm going to be trying to implement the build that you just saw in this human mirror game. So first peasant to altar, four to gold. Next peasant builds the farm for four seconds goes into the barracks next new peasant finishes the farm and the next new peasant can either make the second farm or you can go into the gold and make the second farm five seconds later it's kind of up to your preference i do these like little things for bonus efficiency because i noticed hey i don't need farm that early but you can do it however you like here's another small little efficient thing using the militia Oop, to walk faster even though i was derping for the hotkey for the farm so human mirror matchup i am going to so there's a, there's a couple of ways you can do it in the bloody beginner guide i taught you to get this then this then this but because it's orange green and then expansion you can see hey that's not exactly good flow because you're going to the right then left then to the expo so you can also either do orange then expansion or you can start on the left side at the green camp then you'll be walking in the correct direction all the time all in all you need to try and find out what works for you it's not so much which route as understanding that changing up routes for different reasons can yield different results it's understanding why you're doing a route and how fast you're expanding and how your economy will look like if you do it that way in this particular game i'm going to go for the green camp here i'm using my second footman for scouting which is a little bit of an added difficulty level and then i put all these units in control group one and this footman is in control group two so we see that he's actually going for the goblin laboratory now we've got two choices we can either go harass there or we can still proceed with the plan to expand and i'm actually going to take the item and then i'm going to harass you don't want to lose the footman hey i got the watch elemental so now i'm level two gonna try to do a little bit of harassment we're gonna make our fourth farm see if we can kill some peasants we're still expanding and we want to keep our footies alive we just want to kill a couple of peasants All right, now we're gonna turn around. We're gonna take that. You seek me help? Footies shall be shaken, shields shall be splintered, a sword day, a red day, ere the sun rises. Blood! Hi YouTube, for Death. more intense games and over explains, don't forget to subscribe. Nice one, said you. Right! I uh, keep making footies. We go for our expo, we kill a couple of peasants. He has more XP, he's got better items. We have a better lumber economy. We're gonna make a tower at home and then defend upgrade. Next, what we'll need is level three Archmage. Not the best item, Ring of Protection. So now we're going to try to get level 3, but it's not easily gotten from a singular camp. Yeah, he's level 3 already. I have to run away here if he lets me, and he does. We're almost level up, but not quite. I'm not sure that we can finish our expo. And I'm not sure if he's expanding himself. But because he doesn't know... Ooh. Okay. Okay, now he knows. Now he's going for it. All right, let's go for the defense. Don't stop gathering. Don't stop power building just because he's attacking a peasant. What? 
We want to finish this base. What is it? What is it? Yes, me lord. Or work. What? Yes, me lord. Try to get that XP. Or work. Okay, we finished the base. We want that arcane tower again. Of course, we don't know if he has a base. We're gonna send the footman there. These peasants will remain on speed dial. Peasants in every base. Make sure to control group both of your town halls. Now we want to get to tier 2 as quickly as possible. Ah, he does not have a second base. As long as we get that tower. We need that footy. Nice the nice by him. We're gonna go tier two. That's a bit late, but I mean we were pressured. I forgive myself. Any level threes? Oh god. Finally. So he's got his sanctums coming, so now we need one guard tower in each base. And now what we need to do is we need to buy time. So we're gonna go to his laboratory and get Zeppelin. Send Water Alley to check the shop. Next you can expect breakers. It's all about eco wars now, right? And that's how the, that's how we can win the eco wars. Tier 3, double barracks, workshop, and sanctum. Did he forget to turn on defense? Ah, uh, GG, nice. And then we're gonna check his expansion, and he does have it. We go for it. We're gonna go knights, we're gonna go breakers, we're gonna go more tars. GG, nice. Nice to win our first game after the uh, guide uh, showing the build. It's always exciting defending the base. There was totally not a game also against the human that was higher rated that we just lost on this very same map. That this never happened. This was this this was it.
GG.